Hi everyone, welcome to our NFC tutorial. This is Samreen. Yeah, this is Carlos. Uh, and today Carlos will be going over our NFC JavaScript library and how to set it up. Yeah, so we're just going to go over how to program your uh, any NFC tags with your matrix creator, as well as how to read uh, any tag on the creator to like trigger actions. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so for uh, this live stream, we're going to show you how to program an NFC card with uh, JavaScript. And what we have here right now for our setup is we have a matrix creator with a Raspberry Pi, uh, because that's what it needs. Uh, plugged in through Ethernet, nothing else. We have some packages pre-installed. We have matrix HAL as well as matrix Lite JS already, but we'll go over everything you need to do it on your own. And on the desktop side of view, on the right side, we have our terminal already SSH'd into our Raspberry Pi. And on the left, we have our documentation for Matrix Labs. Nice. Okay, so to get started, all you have to do is scroll down and go to Matrix HAL. This is our lowest level layer in C++, and this is where all the other layers are based off of. They all call C++ at the end. So all you have to do is getting started and click on Installing NFC. So once you're here, it'll tell you everything you need. You'll need Matrix HAL itself installed, which you can just click this link and follow the instructions. We already mm -hmm. have it installed and also downloading NXP's libraries. So due to legal conditions, uh, we're not allowed to distribute the packages ourselves. So you have to go to NXP's website, download it, put it on your Pi, and then just run our script. It'll take, it's a one-time thing and it'll take care of everything for you. So all you have to do is click this link right here. So once you click this link, um, it's pretty straightforward. We have images over here to, like with arrows to tell you exactly what to do. You're gonna go to download, Give it a second, it's a little bit uh, tedious. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Go to download, you're gonna look at the uh, PN512, that's a chip on our matrix creator. Mm -hmm. uh, agree to some terms and conditions. You can read them if you'd like. <laughs> <laughs> and then download the file over here, that might be a little hard to see. It says SW927940. There we go. So once you download that, you're going to want to bring it over to your Pi. So what we're using to bring it over, let me uh, move this over here. It hasn't finished downloading yet. Okay, there, there we go. go. So what you want to do is to move, oh, actually, let me rename that because it's not the right name. Yeah, so it has to be, Ooh. whoops, <laughs> um, it has to be the sw297940.zip. It, it has a one because we already have it installed. Ah, I got you. Okay. Um, so, so, so what we're doing right now is that we're using uh, Cyberduck, which is an SFTP client that we're using to transfer files in between our computer and our Raspberry Pi. It makes it super easy and pretty mindless. You just drag and drop once you're connected. There we go. So it's uploading it to the Pi. Yeah. There we go. So let me just rename this to what it should be. Uh, this is only because we've downloaded it before. Uh, you don't have to worry about this. Just make sure it's the exact name as a download. There we go. And close that. So it's because it wraps around this particular named zip file, right? Oh yeah, because it doesn't yeah. know the name if it changes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so once you have that, you can just close off the NXP thing and just continue going on to the uh, documentation over here. So you just scroll down, uh, you know, all the steps we just did, and then everything over here you have to set up on your own. You can just put in your Pi. So install this. There we go. Yeah, so it's a bit of compiling, but this is a one-time setup. Once you have all the dependencies installed, it'll be just it'll be way easier to do on your own. Mm -hmm. All right. So now that we have the tools we need, we're gonna clone it, uh, our repo. So right now we're cloning the Matrix HAL NFC repo, and then now we're gonna compile everything. Oh, actually, before we uh, compile everything, let me bring the uh, terminal over here. Hold on. Give it a second. Okay, so right now we're inside the repo, but um, if you look at the instructions, it says to move the file we had into the repo. So let me move the uh, NXP libraries we downloaded into the uh, our uh, matrix HAL NFC repo. We move that in there, and we go back inside. All right. And so if you ls, the file should the zip file should be in there. Yeah. So right, Perfect. it's right over here. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. That's done. Let me uh, bring that all the way to the other side. Let me resize some stuff here so it's easier to see. Okay, so now you can just uh, 
keep copying and pasting all the commands we have here. There we go. So right now this is installing the NXP library itself onto our Raspberry Pi. And then the next command is to actually build our library, so all the abstractions that we made. Alright, so that'll take a bit longer, um, but yeah, this is just really quick to do, one-time thing. Mm -hmm. And then once you have this, like when you're doing JavaScript or even other languages, uh, when we have those libraries officially <laughs> out, like you wouldn't have to do this process again, right? Uh, yeah, oh, I mean, this is just installing the libraries, like compiling them. Um, well, actually, compiling does take a little bit longer for that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, for C++, I have, I have to test it myself to exactly to check exactly how long. Um, but yeah, if you're using one of our libraries like JavaScript or Python, which uh, it's not released yet, but it is in development and free to test. It has all the features already. We just need to test everything. Um, testing, like actually using NFC is in, you don't even have to compile, so it's instant. Mm-hmm. Okay, so it's almost done installing. Nice. There we go. So once you see this message, Matrix HAL is installed. And yeah, that pretty much uh, goes over it. Uh, installing the HAL side, which we did in a previous video. We have a whole video on how to use the C++ code um, mm -hmm. that you can look up earlier. So we're just going to jump straight into Matrix Lite. So if you go to our docs and click on the Matrix Lite JavaScript, sorry, Matrix Lite, uh, yeah, JavaScript reference, you go to NFC. And then once you go down here, you can just read exactly what you need. So it tells you everything you can do, uh, a lot of what C++ can do, the JavaScript library can do, mm -hmm. as well as uh, you know what we just did, installing Matrix HAL NFC before continuing, because this library wraps over it. Right. So what we're gonna do is quickly uh, get out of the get out of the uh, Matrix HAL NFC repo and make our own uh, npm project or Node.js project. So we're gonna make a directory, call it NFC underscore JS. Uh, so before this, they have to install Matrix Lite as well, right? Which we already have installed. Yeah. Yeah. So actually, I can just uh, just show the link really quick. So um, yeah, it's right here. Getting mm -hmm. started, and that'll go over everything you need to know. Uh huh. Um, but once you have it installed, it's a very quick process. You just go into the project that because at the end of the installation, you'll make a project directory, and you can put everything in there. Mm -hmm. So I'm just gonna make one really quick. Uh, npm init uh, dash y. A second, so I'm just going to make a quick Node.js project here, uh, install the library. Nice. So that's the Node.js library, and then after that, we're just going to get to programming, right? Yeah, so this is the this is just the NFC library, so the Lite.js library and the Lite NFC library are two separate things. Um, so, because we have the creator and the voice, so there's no reason to try to put those two together. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, if you want the NFC library, it's separate, but that's just an extra installation. It's very, very simple. It's just this one line, right? Like yeah, yeah. This is just matrix install. Matrix NFC npm install. Yeah. Right? Uh, yeah. Once you have it installed, uh, once you have the house stuff installed, this is just a uh, one line installation. Nice. Okay, so let's give it a bit to compile. <laughs> When you download the library for uh, Node.js, you have to compile the entire library and all the bindings made around it. Mm-hmm. Because it compiles it locally? Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. All right. All right. Ignore and... the warnings. They're usually <laughs> not a problem. Yeah, the warnings are fine, as long as <laughs> they don't break. It, nothing's broken. <laughs> so let me uh, check in here. So yeah, we have node, the Node Modules folder it installed there. Um, all we have to do is uh, make a file, so I'm going to touch app.js, there we go. Alright, um, so yeah, so just to use it, all you have to do is import it, and you're good to go. You can call whatever you want. So just to get started, we're going to show you how to read really quickly. So let me put it right here. Actually, we have examples on our docs, uh, as well as all the methods that you can see, uh, what they do and what they return. So you can just get started really quickly. So if you want to just jump into it, you can go to our examples and just read the basic information of a tag. So I'll copy this, paste it in there. And just to show you what it's doing, uh, you know, first line requires a library, so you're importing the NSC library. The second line is calling the nsc.read function. And inside over here, you can see uh, what we're requesting is we want it to read at 100 milliseconds every 100 milliseconds to scan for anything, because the way the NFC tag works is that it just scans, and if anything's there or not, it'll just return us back. Mm -hmm. um, and then info true means that I want the basic information of a tag. 
Uh, we have info uh, pages and page, which are just basically the basic uh, the, the bytes of the actual tag. Uh, most people aren't going to be needing to use these two. And NDEF, which we'll cover right now. Okay. Uh, oh, after this. So we're going to save that. And then all you have to do is node app.js. And yeah, so once... So the very first time it takes like just a couple seconds to start and then it's instant, right? No, no, it's always instant. So uh, all you have to do is tap a tag over here. And there we go. Oh, sorry. Yeah, you're right. The uh, <laughs> um, yeah. So uh, the NFC chip itself, the first time it sees on the device, sometimes might take like a little bit to warm up, like uh, maybe like five five-ish seconds. But after that, it should be good to go. So yeah, uh, you'll see that once <laughs> once I tap it in, it starts detecting uh, everything. This is the basic information of a tag. Nice. You have the yeah. You can just look into that later. But everything, all this stuff is pretty much covered in the C plus plus section about like what this kind of information is. Because it's basically uh, almost a one-to-one -one, uh, implementation of it. Right. And if somebody wanted to specifically read like one of those like fields, they would just do... No, it's just a JavaScript object. So just they, a JavaScript yeah, object. So, so you just like you read the value of that object. Yeah. Okay. okay, so yeah. now uh, that's for reading basic information. That'll tell you... Uh, pretty much you can check the IDs of tags and stuff like that. So now the real uh, meat and bones for like more complicated stuff is NFC, NDEF messages which is uh, kind of like a protocol for how NFC stores messages for your uh, you know, links, uh, texts, uh, phone numbers, emails. Um, and really, if you go up, let me uh, go to the section that has this stuff. If you go over here to NFC, you'll see a dot message section. And here it goes over exactly what you can put in an NDF message. So you have a URI record, that's the stuff that can store cell phones, you know, like there are links that can have different kinds of things, or you know, pretty much a link structure. Uh, there's a ton of them here. I, I listed as many as I could, and if your device supports it and it can read NFC, then it'll open these links. So you can have a URI to an app on your phone with certain parameters to do some stuff, and here's like a couple examples. Cell phone, telephone number, even email addresses. So no, what we're going to do, now that we know how to read though, we're going to show you how to write. So I'm going to delete this, and then we're going to create a new message. There's like full examples of this as well. Yeah, right? so if you scroll down here, I can just uh, quickly go over it. Uh, right here. Right over here. So I'm going to make this a bit bigger so everyone can see. Uh, there we go. Okay, so just to uh, iterate like on what all this stuff is doing. So uh, the third line right here. Uh, makes a message, just an empty message, it can hold whatever we want. The next line is adding whatever kind of record we want. So an NDF message is comprised of uh, NDF records. So one message can hold multiple records. In this case, we're only adding one, which is a link to our community page. Mm -hmm. And then after that, we're doing a read loop. So if we want to write to a tag, ideally you want to be able to tell if there's a tag there or not. So we have a read loop that uh, looks and says, okay, if the tag, if 256 is just like a status code, which once you read something, it'll give you back a status code on like what happened. 256 mean a tag was read. And if it was read, uh, start writing. And if it didn't read, which is 1024, nothing happens. Mm -hmm. So now the next part is writing. So over here, nfc.write, what we're doing is that we're calling this function and passing in the message we just uh, created. And then there's a callback after, oh, a promise um that you can do after it wrote so once it tried writing it'll tell you oh was it successful in writing and you know what happened and then after uh, it writes writes which uh the status code is zero for that um it'll just exit the program and you can also parse these status codes we have a function called nfc dot status which you can just put in a number and it'll it'll translate it what that means mm -hmm. so i'm just going to close this okay so now we'll test out the uh, writing function right now so we just tap it to the creator. There we go. And now that it actually has the uh, tag written to, it can have your phone. Oh, yeah. We can actually read the uh, link we put on here with a uh, mobile device. So Androids, if you have NFC enabled, you can just tap this to your phone and actually open up the link. Uh, for iPhone users, um, I think iPhone 10 and up around there, you have to look it up to be uh, to know like what phones are supported. Uh, have it already enabled where you just why, why, <laughs> you just uh, rub it on the back and it'll have a uh, thing show up. So right here, you can see that the uh, community page opened up. So I'll do that one more time. 
Throw it on the back. There you go. Cool. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, that pretty much covers everything you need to know about uh, NFC and JavaScript. Uh, it's very straightforward, uh, the way this library works. Uh, you can also erase messages here. Uh, you can write multiple messages. Um, you could, if you really, if you know what you're doing, um, write directly to the NFC pages. The reason we don't recommend doing that for most users um, is because uh, you can accidentally lock your tag. So be careful if you do decide to write directly to the uh, pages on here. Um, and yeah, that pretty much covers uh, all the stuff on NFC. Um, that shows how to read, how to write. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. All right. Yeah, cool. and just to show one extra thing, I guess, is the status function I mentioned, where if you get like an NFC code, you can just put it into the status to actually see what it means. So if you go here, copy status, I'm going to edit the code we did right now. So I'm just going to delete uh, the stuff. Yeah. So here's the success code for a successful a successful uh, NFC read. Very bare bones. And then we're just going to get that uh, message and then actually print out what it means. So I'm going to close this. So you would do NFC dot status and then parentheses and put the code. So it's status code. Okay. That was the idea behind it. Ah, okay. Um, but mm -hmm. you, I mean, it's a parameter, so you can just rename it over there on the top right. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So you have to console that. Yeah. Ah, okay. It's been yeah, a bit yeah. since I've done this. Okay. There we go. Now it'll work. So get the original uh, tag over here, tap it there, and you can actually just read what it says. Okay. So that's the that's, status. Yeah, so that's on a successful tag read. Uh, 256 means that. Uh, if, you don't even need this. You can just put in the number directly. So you don't actually have to read to know what it means. So you can just do console.log, uh, there you go, nfc.status. And you can put in, like, was it 1024 for a tag not being read? Run that. And then peer activation failed. So, okay. And you can also see 0. So for, like, uh, oop, keep doing this. <laughs> for a successful, like, read or write, um, sometimes it'll be, sorry, for a successful uh, write, uh, sometimes you'll get 0 back uh, for the write. And if you see what that means, it means success. Mm. So, you know, different error codes do different things. Uh, we even have, if there's some that are, very uh, can be kind of wild and yeah there's that's why we generally recommend that you look at the errors specifically when you're reading because just because it didn't read doesn't mean that that was the only issue sometimes there could be other error codes for maybe pulling out a tag in like the middle of a write or read so mm -hmm. that's why it's recommended that you know you have all the uh, cases handled for anything you want to do Thank you everyone for joining us uh, on this NFC tutorial. If you have any questions, uh, please put them in the YouTube comments or post on the community at community.matrix.one. Yeah. Bye. Bye.